Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday. Uh, Trumpy's on his way home yesterday. Bit of risk on there at the end of the day. It's the 6th of October. Let's see what we got going on today. RBA came out, did nothing. Uh, gave all indication that more stimulus is coming, that they care about jobs. Um, to be fair, nobody cares um, currency-wise about any of that. We did print up the uh, same high, 72.09, so there'll be risk above there now. Um, and if we continue risk on, saves boost, uh, boost up to 30, 34.20. Um, we could see a little bit of a squeeze in Oz. No real strong view there, just pointing it out. Weirdly, Euro Aussie is a bid. This little tail here is just like uh, RBA nonsense. And this is just, this just means <clears throat> it's not risk off, funnily, it's just Euro carrying the day. And Aussie doing nothing, basically. So kind of Aussie's resisting this risk on not going higher super well, whereas Euro is um, sort of slowly making its move higher. Interestingly, we, we printed uh, sort of the figure here. Might be a point today. We're very skeptical about Euro higher, um, even though by all... Uh, Story-wise, all indications are um, that the world is trying to get short dollars here. Um, the timing of this is a bit weird, but the Biden thing, you know, Biden's lead is increasing, uh, way more stimulus, obviously three, four trillion dollars uh, budget deficits and whatever. Um, not great for the dollar, but the European side of the equation also looks like crap and. Just be aware that Europe, I don't think, I mean, certainly I think Germany will resist, but France will not resist. Uh, you know, Madrid goes into lockdown. If Paris folds uh, like a house of cards, uh, goes into lockdown, um, then other capital cities will follow. Germany will probably resist. But that's not great for the Euro, the Euro economy jobs etc etc so tough to get on board uh, but price wise it's robust and let's face it we did not get to that 11684 area which was sort of that break up area so it's it's still bullish I don't that well, my point is I guess I don't expect it to exaggerate and run through 118 Lagarde is speaking uh, on some in online event this morning so heads up on that um, Otherwise, we have some manufacturing stuff out of Germany and some stuff out of the UK that doesn't really matter. Speaking of the UK, um, printed up to 130. Now we have all kinds of highs up here. Uh, let's go to the four hour. It's a little bit less choppy, less whimsical. This looks like it's going to continue higher. Uh, we're going to get some sort of last minute either can kick or deal ish um, gonna be choppy obviously you know gonna be a lot of headlines that are moving this left and right uh, but this does look pretty pretty steady and if you're gonna be selling dollars uh, cable uh, is is our preferred instrument Dollar Swiss uh, sort of broke down through that 91.60 we pointed out yesterday, but it hasn't really gone too far. It's 13 ticks lower. It's going to be a slow grind here. Uh, dollar Swiss, dollar yen doing nothing. Printed that 80 high again. Could be a little double top up there. I don't understand how um, dollar yen can, can be here. Uh, but it is, and effectively it's doing nothing. So let's just drill backwards here. Dollar yen is officially doing nothing. Trump goes to COVID. Dollar yen goes. 
I mean, sorry, that's not uh, Trump to COVID. Um, here's Trump to COVID. Dollar yen goes to 94. Um, otherwise, you can see we're just stuck in this sort of 104, 107, and more recently, 105, 106. So this has to sort of reconcile itself. We do think it'll reconcile itself lower eventually. I just don't know, don't know when. Cross yen bid. I'm not sure what to do with that. Kind of getting in the middle of these ranges. Sterling yen also bid. Dollars are put in a turn bar yesterday. It's going to have a hard time uh, shooting higher unless we get some risk off or unless the big dollar turns. Um, we're not doing much with dollars are right now, but we do have our skeptical hats on as as we normally do. Um, dollar max four big down days. Bang 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 bang. Twenty two sixty to twenty one forty. Um, range lows are twenty eighty seven. Not much to do here. Aussie, like we said, printed that 10 high. Keep an eye on that. There will be some action if we see that again. No dog in that fight. You're going to bet that the Aussie end chart's sort of similar. Peaked above there. Nobody cares. Uh, Kiwi. Got an interesting cluster of highs here, similar to the Aussie. If we get a big risk on push, which I do not expect, I think it's going to be very grindy today. 66.57 of minor interest. Dollar CAD going left, uh, running into support here down at 50. Again, not really sure what to do with this. Uh, the only thing we learned on Friday was there was a huge iceberg at 133.30. So that'll be just a level of note going forward just from a flow perspective this is Biden here gold higher uh, dollar lower might be your cleanest way to express this um, but I'm not chasing it I certainly don't think anyone should chase it but 1925 now is a little triple top here on the dailies it probably doesn't look as good you have highs here from the 22nd highs from October 2nd or in from yesterday um, expect some consolidation gold uh, dips being bought and then ZB uh, you know just try and be sure TB if you can um, big red bar yesterday we expect this to continue we expect this to trade uh, trade down you gotta really have the yields up here versus um, versus anything else. What is it? TYX. TYX. You can see here yesterday we broke up through this 153. Now we're 157. We think we're going to 177. So got another 20 basis points. It's a good good chunk of a move left to go could consolidate a little bit here but um, you want to sell ZB on, uh, on any rally we do think the long end yields are going to go higher and they're going to go a lot higher I don't want to get into the twos and fros of it uh, could be inflation driven could be supply side inflation driven it could be just growth inflation driven but it also could be uh, which would be way worse for the world. It could be the world beginning to question how the how the fuck are we going to pay all this money back, or how the fuck are governments going to pay this money back when their tax base has been chopped in half. Um, and that's kind of the side of the fence we live on. We don't really give a hoot about inflation. It's just now becoming questionable, um, and it becomes a doom loop. Obviously, the higher the rates go, the debt servicing costs or, you know, your credit card costs, borrow, you know, the cost of, of money borrowed goes higher. Um, and when you're playing from such small numbers, 
it becomes exponential, right? So when you have a 1.5% yield, the move to 3%, you, you're, you're doubling your debt costs. Uh, and, you know, we think this goes probably to 5 or 6% uh, in the coming years, and, and this is the this is the focus trade that everyone should be looking at. Anyway, that's just us. BTP, same thing. All-time low in yield in BTPs. Um, this is stupidity that is just almost com comedic. Um, we're going to wait for price to turn here, but when it does turn, we'll join, we'll join in the fray with the BTPs as well. But for now, we're focusing on ZB. Um, and the Biden story helps helps that trade. Anyway, as you can see, currency wise, we're not doing much, um, not too much. We have Lagarde this morning, as far as the calendar is concerned. Uh, Powell speaks way later in the afternoon, sort of at four forty. We have, you know, Harker also speaking, not uh, not too useful. Um, Jolt's job openings, no one really cares about that. But we will watch it just to sort of add to the story. And, you know, not much else to say. China's in Golden Week this year. Uh, China's on holiday this week. So liquidity will be a little bit m more muted, but nothing really to see there. Dollar China. CNH is on a roll. In hindsight, this was your horse, right, if you wanted to sell dollars. But uh, we were not on that. Anyway, interesting lows down here, uh, 667. We'll see what see what happens with that dollar China. I've said enough. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good luck trading today. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye, bye.